It's me, Talitha Yoroshiku Onegashimas. Como estas? Je suis très bien. Danke. Miss you. Hi, I'm Talitha. I'm a singer songwriter from Malaysia. And uh, yeah, I write songs about boys. <laughs> I first became interested in um, in the shower, singing in the shower, <laughs> like a lot of people. And then uh, I remember singing, uh, seeing my cousin uh, singing at a at a uh, golf club and I thought oh I really wanted to be there performing instead and uh, ever since I've been like um, following a lot of youtubers and I had a camera and a, and a guitar at that time and I thought oh if they can post YouTube videos why can't I? For my YouTube channel I think my favorite YouTube um, has to be Hmm. Uh, sorry, toothbrush, toothbrush by DNCE. I think that was my favorite cover. Uh, that would that would be the best one I've, I have on YouTube. Whereas uh, that something that's meaningful to me, I guess, would be Kina Granis Valentine because that was kind of the first cover I posted. I hate it though, but it's it's memories. <laughs> I started writing music because I write music about boys, so I got my heart broken. <laughs> but um, I say uh, my first song is um, not not on most of the music platforms. It's not on Spotify. It's on SoundCloud though. I don't like it. I feel like I don't want to share it, but it's called S-I-G-H, uh, Sai. Um, that was the first song I've ever written, but the first song I've ever officially released is uh, my song, OK. My debut single, um, my debut single was in 2016. Uh, in 2016, I was, uh, I was, I was, I did not know what I was doing, and I just like I remember when I was produced. I'm like, okay, how do I upload this to Spotify? I have no idea. So I just went searching, and then I asked some friends, and then I just released it. And then at the last minute, I'm like, um, does anybody want to do a lyric music video for me? I, <laughs> I did not know what I was doing. <laughs> I was not ready. Uh, I think my new song, Apple Pie. Um, I I thought it was a really really fun song to perform. Uh, my my new album. Mm, I'm still I'm still figuring out. <laughs> I don't even know what to call the album yet. Um, I'm not too sure, but um, so far at the moment, in terms of all the songs that I'm putting in, it's quite experimental. It's very different from what I used to write, um, which is quite fun. Like Apple Pie is a very different song uh, from what my usual music is like. Um, and the song before Apple Pie, which it's called Six Hours, um, also very different. It's more indie pop rock, I think. Um, and then, I don't know. So something to do with it being very ex uh, um Something to do with me experimenting with sounds. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm still figuring it out. Maybe, maybe you guys can help me. <laughs> hmm. I would love to. I, I love Pink Panthers. Um, I love Jeremy Zucker. I love Tom Mish and it's Anderson Pack. I, I love all these people. I think they're very, very talented. Uh, I would love to work with them or collaborate with them one day in the future. Or the 1975. Uh, or, or so many, or Valley. I love Valley. <laughs> so many people. Uh, it would be, it, it would be a dream for any of them, really. Like I think everybody's really talented in their own way, and I would love to learn from all these people. I think I've always started with like a lot of songs with like a uh, typical heartbreak or like sad and slow. I think it, it's just me um, hearing whatever I hear and liking it. It's like, okay, I like this, I Shazam. And I was like, okay, and then I listen to it and then I feel inspired from any songs. But I feel like nowadays people people have Spotify on repeat or Apple Music on, like, on, on radio. So it just plays random songs. But a lot of people actually don't know like these songs or what the name of the song is or who the artist is so it's a bit um confusing you're just like huh this is nice but that's all what song is it no idea <laughs> mm, okay until today i still don't know where uh, who my sound is uh who my sound sounds like i still don't know what my music sounds like <laughs> i'm still very confused but uh I'd say the, one of the artists that kind of, the Malaysian artist that I, I took inspiration from to, that made me feel like, oh, okay, I can do music too, is um, Yuna. Um, uh, there's this um, male singer who is now currently pursuing his music in China. His name is Nigel Tay. Very, very 
very, very good voice. I saw him doing music on YouTube and I really wanted to pursue that. I thought it was really cool. But I'd say I take inspiration from a lot of uh, whatever female artists that I see online nowadays. It's like when I see it, I'm just like, yes, girl, girl power. Show them what you got. <laughs> uh, I think Liquid DNB, drum and bass. I always love Tom Mish. So, um, yeah, Valley 1975. <laughs> uh, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm sending all the love to <laughs> whoever that listens to my music. Thank you for listening to my music. I appreciate it. My mom loves Thai like language. My mom always loved it and she's like, you know, maybe maybe I could be Thai, my mom. <laughs> I've only been to Phuket and Thai uh, and Bangkok. Uh, when I was a lot younger. I do want to visit because I have some friends who work in Thailand um, and also I surf so I would like to go to uh, a, part of, um, a part of Thailand to surf as well. That would be quite cool. Um, yeah. And I love the yeah. food. Best. Best food. Yeah. <laughs> and I love spicy. I, I, got, I got chili tattoo right here. I would love to perform in Thailand and I would love to meet you. Hopefully if I ever get the chance, I would love to meet you. <laughs> Thank you.